Okay, back again, morning. Uh, look, did a little bit of workout. Yeah, still wearing the same thing from yesterday, can't gonna lie. Can't gonna lie, yeah, ain't gonna lie. Uh, day, what will this be? 55. Uh, so what's going on for today is uh, gonna be recording videos for another YouTube channel we just started. And it's a Spanish real estate uh, channel. So I got someone to agree to partner up with me because they speak Spanish and I don't. And they will uh, do it. We already got our scripts ready for today. I got, I finally, I'm still not happy, but I uh, got my DSLR ready. Uh, got my teleprompter ready. I'm going to use this one. I got about five teleprompters. Yeah, five. I'm going to use try this one out today. Wait a minute. Hold on. One, two, three, four. Five. Yeah, five teleprompters. Too many teleprompters. Uh, <laughs> uh, this one actually slips on the uh, camera itself, so you don't have a big uh, teleprompter. You just have one with the uh, phone on it. I'm debating whether I should take a big one or not because, um, yeah, obvious reasons. Uh, I don't even think that's the big news for the day. Big news for the day is we're getting the puppy neutered. So he's at seven months now. So it's time for that neutering. Uh, it's, it's not even a choice. You can't choose. Here in Clark County in Nevada, you are required to have your uh, pets spayed or neutered unless you get a breeder's license. So I have no intent of getting a breeder's license because he's not 100% pure and he's not 100% of what we purchased. Uh, he's was supposed to be half poodle and half uh, border collie. In reality, he's mostly poodle and some border collie. Um, he's got a quarter of what's known as a Kelpie in him, and he's taken all most of the uh, characteristics of the Kelpie. So he looks, he looks like a chocolate lab, to be honest. But uh, no, he is um, poodle, border collie, Kelpie, and a little bit of golden retriever. So uh, yeah, it is what it is. We love him. Uh, hopefully, uh, getting neutered was, will calm his butt down because he can get a little rambunctious at times. And so we keep him in a little enclosure area. Hope to let, be able to let him out full time and just let him have a, a run of the entire house and not do that puppy crap. Because like uh, a couple of days ago, uh, had him running around, had, let him be in the bedroom. And he goes to the... Uh, because he's tall enough now, he goes to the uh, sink and we got like a paper towel holder there, you know, wipe your hands after uh, using the bathroom. He just pulled all the paper towels off because he loves paper. For some odd reason, dogs love paper. So pulled all the paper towels off and I'd look down, it's like, then the other day he, uh, we had some little uh, things for the fish tank. We're taking them out. We need to put stuff back in there because um, my wife put some uh, like these plants that she got from her sister in there and the plants had snails that read along with them and uh, it was like there was, the snails were on every damn thing. And then like I talked to her sister, like, sister likes the snails. I'm like, who wants snails all up in their tank? And it, I mean, they proliferated because like at one point the um, the filter like stopped um, running, go in there, it was because it was full of snails. But anyway, gonna go uh, get my puppy's nuts cut off and we'll see what goes on after that, after he's nutless. <laughs> It's going to be wearing that cone around his head and everything. It's going to be funny. I think I'll do a video tomorrow on it. I'm definitely going to be doing some uh, short form video today and TikTok it out about him being nutless. Anyway, see you guys.